Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 18, and we're continuing our playthrough of Knights of the Old Republic to the Sith Lords. We've been... We made our way through the Harbinger. We're back on the Paragus Mining Station, and... I'm trying to figure out which way to go next. Uh, this was the computer that T3 got shot at. Um... So that's really not going to give us anything new, no. Okay. Nothing new out of that computer. Let's backtrack just a smidge and see if we get anything else out of here before we move forward. Because I'd hate to... Anything behind here? Nope. Okay. So the containment field is still keeping us from crossing over that way. That's the way we just came up. So this turbo lift is our only option. Alright. Down by the bay. You out of here? No. Alright. Um, already looted. Already looted. Soon to be looted. Bam. Let's settle this. Let's settle this. Oh! Oh my. No, no, no. Oh. Fine. More where that came from. Yep. Let's yep, yep, yep. This. I ran right by. Come on, finish him. I need to I need to zap the other guy. More where that came Seriously? From. Finish him. Get get the last uh fine. All right, Droid Deflector Mark One. Does he sound like a sad Atari? Can you upgrade an item for me? I need a programming spike. You look like you've suffered a lot of damage. Um, how much? I really wish they'd give you actual dialogue. Oh. <laughs> Pray you don't lose any more of your functionality or I'll sell you for parts. No. Alright. Say something encouraging. Be nice. Alright. I might be able to... Upgrade your memory core or in need of some routine maintenance. I know my computer skill stays high, so let's do that. All right, let me take a look. In the middle of, you know, the mining station. Why not? All done. How do you feel? I'll take that as very good. I need a droid translator. Due to your computer skills, T3 has gained plus one intelligence. Ooh, I'll take that. What do you mean I faded out for a second? You were shut down. Glazed? What are you talking about? Uh, I was working on you the whole time. There's nothing wrong. Let's try the second one. Beep, 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 beep. Uh, I had other questions. I wonder, is he, f oh, is he far enough along that I can get another uh, bump out of him? Mind if I try to upgrade your memory core again? Nope. Okay. Seems to me what I did before worked. Okay, maybe some other time. Alright, I still gained influence with him, which is good enough, and I got some XP. Uh, Alright. That's the way we came from. I just wanted to make sure that we got everything looted. Everybody... Oh! Oh! Um, Atten has a level up to level 7, finally. Let's get him up. He's got sneak attack, which he'll never use. But okay. 
Let's get his demoli- Oh, I should have been sending him up to, to pick up the mines. Ah, I keep forgetting. This is why I have minions. This is their problem, not mine. Delegate, delegate, delegate. Okay. All right. <laughs> I mean, isn't this why you have minions? I thought this was why you had minions. So they can do this stuff. I mean, so they can fill the gaps that you have. Or something leadershipy and inspirational. This door is magnetically sealed. I can't believe this. The ship's right out there, and we can't get to it. All right, are we really going to have a group fight? Do I need to mediate again? All right. What's that, Lassie? The console? Huh? What is that piece of junk saying? Um... Uh... Ooh, that might be a subtle one. He said he can open up the door to the hangar he just needs, which would imply a personalization, or the droid says he can open up the hangar door. Let's try the first How one. How can you even understand that noise? I can't. <laughs> I'll explain someday when we're not being chased by a hundred or more s skilled Sith killers. Uh, let's go with the first All one. Right, well, if he can slice the door open from the terminal above, don't let me stop him. No. Box is still empty. All right. Replace hangar power conduit to the open door. Aha! All right, you have you now have free access to the hangar. All right, um, yeah, that should be everything, because we did everything else. All right, let's get out of here. Okay, let's kill these guys, then let's get out of here. Bam, and then flurry. Shoot him, shoot him while he's sitting still. Maybe I should have an energy shield up. Yeah, I'll add that into the queue. Blast him! Blast him! Oh, I'm a little low on uh, force points there. Yikes. I guess I'm not stunning anybody in the moment. Wait, there's more? All right. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. I didn't realize there was more. Oh, they, they have uh, fancy shielding and all that. Fine. We'll solve this problem. Um, man, I'd like to take a moment to level up the droid, although I don't know that it's going to be that much uh, enough of a difference to really make it worthwhile. So let's let's back up a minute. Let's see. Let's see who we can loot. I feel like we're leaving we're leaving stuff behind. Droid machine interface. What does that do? That's the impact armor. No. Nope. Oh, gives him a plus four to repair. Eh. Eh. Okay. That's not as bad right now. Droid Toxin Emitter. Okay. Those who really want to get insulated govern gloves and Terrace Survival Gloves. 
Oh, you mean the terrace that doesn't exist anymore? That terrace? Because the insulated gloves, it's another pair for cold and fire immunity. And, oh. E <laughs> oh, okay. Plus one to all saves, which is always nice. These gloves' name is a marketing tactic to remind people that a little extra protection is a good investment. Developed by Circa following the bombardment of terrorists by Darth Malak in the first game. <clears throat> These all-purpose gloves became quite popular. Alright. What gloves do I have again? The detonator gloves. Uh, oh, that fire's probably been helping me and the fort's been helping me. So, we'll, we'll just skip that. Let's give, uh... What gloves does he have on? Dex, computer use, and security. Hmm. Plus two to Dex, which is going to help his attack. Or plus... Uh, let's stick with that. Okay. And while we're here... Let's level up. Droid upgrade class two. Always nice. Let's get the skills up where they go. Okay. And that's it. That's it. Okay. So right, so right. So far, so good. Oh, I guess while I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and save the game. Okay. Just in case. All right, and is that everything so far? Yeah, okay, so that's just a long, windy death passage <laughs> before we can get to the, the ship. Okay. All right, I see it. All right, let's zap him now that our force points have regenerated a little. Oh. That's, we've already got a shield active, so let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll see where things go from there. Oh, that's right. I can use a uh, disabled droid on the mines. Can I recover mid combat? No, it's probably not going to work. It's probably going to add badly. Did I just take 10 damage for that? I think I did. Okay. I, I do like this method of uh, intervening in mines a lot better. Why can I not target this guy? Alright, there we go. Let's get this in here. Oh, 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 come on. Get him. Oh. Oh, my shield generator ran out. Don't just stand there. Attack him. What was that about? Here I am taking fire. That could be, uh... I want to know where my shields went. All right. You gonna give me some loot at least? Droid Deflector Mark II? Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm gonna get enough droids to make uh, accumulating all these worthwhile, but again, we come back to having the... Uh... That's right. Where's my demolitions expert? Let's get you to recover some stuff, huh? Since I remember that I have you. Because these all make good parts. Alright. There we go. So far, so good. Oh, 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 before I forget, my uh, energy shield busted. So do I want to use the partially busted mining shield? 
because all that does is absorb heat. No. I want to go ahead and take a regular energy shield. Yeah, a regular energy shield. How's that shield? Three out of five? Okay. Okay. Wrong leader. There we go. Uh, I see the green gas, so I probably don't want to unlock that just yet. Let's uh, go to the decon console. Alright, so I can repair for four parts or slice for one spike. As much as uh, I've got extra parts, I think I'm going to go ahead and replace, uh, slice it. Or I could destroy it to open the decon door. No, nope. let's slice it. Okay. Access the remote camera. So we got stuff venting in the decon. I can't... Okay. So here's the basic idea. You've got a couple of different options for taking care of this. You can just smash the console and um, equip the rebreather on one of your two characters and just run through it and hope you don't die, um, which is a choice that some people can make. Or you can spend the spikes and parts to 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 disable everything, and it, but that only matters if at least one of your characters has a high enough... Uh, repair or computer use to head down that parts and you've been collecting enough spikes and repair spare parts as you go and that's what i'm going to try to do i i know it's going to burn through a lot of spikes even with a high computer skill but it's not like i can't make them so let's go ahead and uh attempt to shut down decontamination decontamination chamber all right, let's attempt to shut it down. There we go. Beautiful. All right, now let's open the chamber. See, that actually only went through about six parts, and that, that's with keeping our computer skill maxed out. So that that's kind of your target. Um, I could have saved myself the six parts and just busted the thing open. Uh, I could have gone the repair route, which would have used more parts. Um, or let the droid do one of the two, since I think he's got a higher skill in both of those than I do. But, um, alright, that's it. But then I wouldn't get the XP for that either. And I like XP. XP's nice. <laughs> anything to loot? I don't see anything to loot. You're supposed to be, I was told that I was promised boxes of loot. Hmm. Okay. I mean, it's only 44 bucks, but I really ought to check that. How many credits have I earned? I have earned 2277 credits just running around um Ensuring that the, the dead people's wealth does not go to waste. It'd be a shame for that. It'd be a real shame for that to go to waste. Okay. Uh, more deflectors. Yep. Okay. So that's a mild weakness poison. Alright. Uh, those are the empty boxing. Probably not going to talk to him right now, so let's run around the outer perimeter before we get on board. And that means we're probably going to knock out some droids, and there's supposed to be... There's supposed to be more boxes to loot. Oh. Come on. Click on him. There he is. Alright, let's grab the motion tracker and the repair kit. We can figure out what that does later. We got that guy right there, and then somebody busted over there. Let's go ahead and take him out while he's uh, in our targeting. There we go. Nothing to loot. Nothing to loot. Alright. Anything here? 
There's some of the boxes. Another 36 bucks and an energy shield. I feel like I should be singing the chorus to a pistol grip pumped in a pocket full of shells. And what do we have here? Repair kit, another motion tracker, impact armor. I'm pretty sure we're only gonna, gonna get T3 and then if we go through all the side quests, the HK droid. I don't think we get any more than that. So, uh, a lot of this extra droid, droid gear is either going to get sold for credits or broken down into parts. Anything else? Come on. He's got it. Oh, yeah, you look like something else. You are something else. Heat shielding, Mark 1. Okay. Ooh. And uh, we got you over here. Hello, foolishly weak secure. Ooh, another grip. Okay. Ooh, that means that we can upgrade the, uh, our secondary sword. Because that will take a grip and all the other stuff, too. I'll probably do that between between this live stream and the next, because we're nearing up when I normally stop. And we're about to enter this, and I'd like to finish this. Let's finish the Ebon Hawk, and then uh, I should have access to a repair table to do all that between stream stuff. Alright, this is the loading ramp to the Ebon Hawk. Once aboard, you'll be leaving the mining facility for good. Yeah, I pretty much... Uh, if it ain't bolted down, I took it with me. So let's enter the Evan Hawk. <laughs> All right. Uh oh. Oh. Seriously, at two. All right, come on. Now, everybody that I don't get, I end up having a fight later anyway. And there's a Steam achievement for killing all these guys before they get on board. I mean, honestly, if you just wanted the XP... You'd be better off just uh, not doing anything. Let them all get on board, and then... Oh, there we go. Now we're back. There we go. All right, Kira, your hand, what happened? How did you survive? Good thing you arrived, or we would have left you. No, let's ask about the hand. There is no time. We must leave. Okay. Leaving. I hate it when it does that for these. I thought we just played that game. <laughs> Alright. If they hit us, we're dead. But if they keep missing us, we're dead. It's great odds. What do you mean? Somebody shut that trash compactor up. Hey. Be nice to him. Just do your best to keep distance. We'll get out of this. Firing the asteroids. Maybe the explosion will destroy them. Can we jump to hyperspace? Distance? Is there anything you can do? Can you fly this thing or not? Um, okay. Here's where Steam encourages you to play through twice. Because there's two different achievements. One for blowing up the asteroids yourself. And one for letting the Sith do it. Uh, let's try. All right. Let's bust it open ourselves. That'll take out the whole field, the colony, and maybe us. We might not even be able to jump to hyperspace in time. Then we die here. Choose now. No, somebody might still be alive. Uh, keep evading. Hold on. This is going to get a little rocky. All right. That means that the Sith are going to blow it up, and it won't be our fault. Y 
Yeah. Um, <laughs> oops. I, I kind of hate the fact that no matter what you did, that all that was going to get blown up. Like, all that was going to get blown up bad. And there's well, not a thing you could have done about it. it. Maybe one of you can tell me what's going on. Because between assassin droids, a Sith Lord that looks like he sleeps with vibroblades, and being target practice for a Republic warship, I was better off in my cell. The Republic warship um, was the Harbinger. I don't know about it that. It was seized on its way to Telos by the Sith. They sought you, Jedi. Um... Why were they looking for me? Because you are the last of the Jedi. Once Shh. you are dead, then they have okay. won. Um, but I was exiled. <laughs> I am not a Jedi, not any longer. The next time somebody calls me a Jedi, they'll be lying in a pool of their own blood. I mean, that's for a certain kind of character. All right, no, but I was exiled from the Order. Exile or not, the Sith believe you to be a Jedi Knight, and that is all that matters. Uh, but the last of the Jedi that can't be drew, what happened? The Order can't be gone. Let's start by asking what happened. Let's go the that Jedi's way. The Jedi's civil war destroyed the Jedi. By the war's end, barely a hundred Jedi remained. Many fell in battle, and many more were seduced by Revan's teachings. I know that story. Uh, but what about the Jedi and Dantooine and Coruscant? For those Jedi who survived? Let's ask about the Dantooine and Coruscant. The Jedi Academy on Dantooine is nothing more than a crater that echoes with the ghosts of dead Jedi. And the Jedi oh. Temple on Coruscant lies empty. The waters in the Room of a Thousand Fountains have fallen still in reverence to the fallen Jedi and those now lost. Many Jedi hmm. blamed the teachings of the Jedi Masters for Revan's fall and the civil war that followed. Alright, um... I've heard enough. Gone and good riddance. Now, if any survivors still live, we need to warn them. Perhaps, but they are Jedi no longer. If the Sith have not already slain them, then they will not help you, nor can you help them. Um... Well, let's start with the first option. You said the Harbinger was on its way to yes. Telos? To aid in the recovery effort there. Many roads lead to Telos, including ours. Not like we have much <laughs> of a choice, the Paragas okay. astrogation charts being what they are. It is where we must go, and where the Harbinger was bound before our unfortunate encounter on Paragas. All right. Care to explain how you tracked me down? Looks like I didn't cover my tracks well. How did you know I was on... Yeah, let's go with how did you know I was on board. To find, but coincidence was on our side. Yeah, a lot when of coincidence. When you were on the vessel, I knew the Sith would not be far behind. When we intercepted mm -hmm. the Harbinger, it was crippled, drifting in space. It was a simple matter to board the vessel and rescue you. Unknown to me, however, the Sith were already on board. Just as we made the jump to hyperspace, they fired upon us, nearly destroying the Ebon Hawk. Okay. That is a un <laughs> yes, that is an unusual set of coincidences. How did we get to Pergros? How come I don't remember any of this? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to how come I don't remember any of this, because I was knocked unconscious by the HK droid. So let's go. That's an unusual set of coincidences. True. But as one trained in the Force, you know that true coincidences are rare. Yes, I know. Coincidence is not a kosher word. All right, so how come I don't remember any Whatever of this? Whatever occurred on board the Harbinger had rendered you unconscious. Though your thoughts were faint, I was still able to find you sealed in one of the cargo holds. So how do we get to Paragus? I do not know how the Ebon Hawk was able to make it to per Oh, that's right. You did it. Is that what you're going to tell us? Is that what Be that silent. means? We're having a conversation here. Seriously, people. Be nice to the droid. Um, what part of silence didn't you hear? Another step out of oh, seriously, like two out of three options are shut up before I. No, he says he repaired the ship. Repaired this ship, my eye. Next thing you know, it's going to claim credit for saving our skins. If that little noisemaker says it repaired the ship once, then it can prove it by doing it again. Go on, get. Oh come on, be nice to him. Uh, 
Where's that option? All right, we get away from the Sith. How do we stop them? It's not an easy question to answer. This threat is greater than you know, and I do not believe it is a battle that can be fought. Mm hmm. All right, if we don't stop them, they're going to keep coming. They're going to fight us. I say we fight back. So, what do you think we should do? All right, let's ask the question. Look, enough with the we already. We cannot hope to triumph against them alone. To stop them, you will need weapons, allies, and a teacher. And a lightsaber. I fear it may not be enough. With a lightsaber, it would help. Uh, what do you mean? We have no other choice. An enemy can be fought and killed. Let's go with what do you mean. Uh, if I remember right, she likes questions... And that you kind of stuff. In the Mandalorian Wars, and it cost you everything. Are you willing to sacrifice as much again? Uh, the Mandalorian Wars were my choice. If this uh, threat me, they die. This is self-defense, not war. We must stop them. Is there some place we could hide or run to? Uh. Ooh. Let's go with this as self-defense, not war. You are not listening to me. This is not like any field of battle you have ever fought in. Think carefully on your mm. choice. If you choose to fight, if you choose war, it is a path few turn from once the first steps are taken. It carries with it a terrible price. And in the end, you may find you have nothing left to sacrifice. Okay. I have nothing to lose now. How bad could it be? I turned away from war once. I can do it again. If I do not try, we have lost anyway. Let's go. <laughs> Only the Sith will pay the price for crossing me. Ha <laughs> ha. No. Let's, uh, let's go with number five. If evil is not fought, then we sacrifice the galaxy. <laughs> Your fool's words echo of a Jedi. You have much to learn. But, we have but I thought I was a Jedi. And my wound or not. pains me. If you have other questions, find me in the crew quarters. There we will speak more. Hey, don't stop your long, boring rants on my account. I was just getting sleepy-eyed. Oh, also, hush. In it, we will be mercifully free from the opinions of imbeciles and fools. Look, so which uh, one's the imbecile and which one's the fool? Anything, but you might want to go check on our passenger, especially with that hand of hers. Uh, I'm sure she could take care of herself. I'll go check on her. She seemed well enough. Now, let's go with your right. Can you handle things up here? We're on autopilot until we hit Telos. Until then, a droid could fly this thing. Besides, I think our passenger could use your help. I'll go check on her. If it'll shut you up. What makes you say that? Let's go with what makes you say that. I think she was barely keeping it together. I'm surprised she's able to stand with all that pain rolling off of her. All right. Um, what are you talking about? Are you blind? If I were her, I'd be screaming like a stuck Minoc. Well, I mean, a very strong, manly Minoc. Uh -huh. I think she's just too proud to show any weakness, especially in front of you. Uh, poor reception. I'll go check on her. Yeah, we'll go that side. hadn't noticed. She won't say two words to me, but she'll talk your ear off any chance she gets. What you think matters to her, a lot. She wants you to respect her. Besides, <laughs> we haven't got much else to do until Telos. Alright, when did you get sensitive? Nah. Hmm. Ooh. I want to go, when did you get sensitive, but... That might be a little more confrontational than I really want to do. So let's go ahead and I'll go check on her then. All right, so we got some late points. We got a bunch of XP. That means we should be able to level up most of the people. Oh, it'll only let me level myself up. All right, so let's do that first. Let's bump up our constitution to 14. That'll get us a uh, better implant capability. Uh, much needed better implant capability. 
And that's why we had bumped it up the first time anyway. Okay. And for skills, we're doing our usual on the skills. Okay. And ooh, we got another power. We don't get the next heal yet. We don't get the next Knight Valor. We don't get the next regular stun or force whirlwind. It looks like we can now pick a new way to go. Battle meditation is nice, but that's not worth... I don't have enough points to make that worthwhile. Uh, it looks like it's a question between force barrier and energy resistance. Energy resistance is nice, but it's a little too specific. It knocks off the first six points of damage from sonic, fire, cold, and electrical. Uh, whereas force barrier... Oh, no. What am I thinking of then? Because Force Barrier only does four, but it does it from slashing, bludgeoning, and piercing. Um, maybe it was Force Aura? Force Aura bumps my defense up by two. Straight up defense is always nice, because I'm not doing... Oh, 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 that's right, that's right. I need, um, Affect Mine, now that we're starting to interact with people. Let's, uh, yeah, let's add Effect Mine. Okay. There we go. All right. That's right, I got the grip, I got the motion tracker. All right, so... I've got everybody to talk to, and then the map. Let me run around. Alright, so we got our security system. We got T3M4. Still running around with swords out like a crazy person. Low security door, that's right. Oh! Oh yeah. The, I. Alright. Um... I will save this. I'll save the expl exploration for the next go round. Uh, let me run around real quick and fill out the map. Because um, that's going to be crew quarters. Somebody will end up there. This is. Oh, hey. They did an okay job of fixing that. There used to be a bike over there. There's my workbench and I'm going to be spending a lot of time on that between live streams. Did I not just see him over at the computer station? Alright. Is there more than one of them? I didn't think there was more than one of them. Oh, my cargo hold. It appears to be empty. Can I get into the container? <gasps> Ooh. A repair kit, a basic Moline Edge. I got some Jedi robes. And Pizzot card. Alright. I I'll have to... <laughs> so that's where my secret stash is, huh? I got a funny feeling there's going to be more stashes on this Joker. All right, what was down this way? This was more crew quarters. There's Kira. And I would have thought there would have been a medical console. All right, that's right. He's meandering this way and that. Yeah, is there not? Okay, that's medical. I need to head... I hate that I keep getting lost on my own stupid ship. This way. Okay, so there's a medical lab station. Good. So that means I get a workstation and a lab station that I can go ahead and start fixing everything and anything. And um, 
that's what I'll do. That's what I'll do between streams. So let me do. Let's uh, let's wind this up. <laughs> I went way over, but I didn't expect the talking at the end to go on as long as it did, even though I should have. So uh, I guess this is where we'll call things here. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos, because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.